Hello everybody and happy new year! I know I was supposed to post the lipstick collection and the skincare collection but I didn't get enough time to film them and if you're also part of the K-pop community you already know what happened by the end of December and that plus my personal things mixed all together didn't help very much so it all took a toll on me and I took a little break even though I don't film very much usually but yeah I will film those things as well as I said before, they will be at some point in time here on my channel. I just have to figure out the time when I can actually film them. As you can see, right now I'm not in my house. My friend right there, Lexi, is lending me her house, <laughs> like her living room, so I can film this. So thank you, thank you. You will pay rent later. Oh, oh, we'll talk that off camera, I see. Okay, <laughs> thank you. So, as you can see by the title of this video, I'm going to share with you what I got for Christmas. But I added whole at the end of the title because probably over 90% of these things I bought myself. But I will also mention the things that I received from different persons. So let's get started! First of all, this makeup bag from my grandma. And it, it has a lot of things inside, but not they're, they're just randomly placed in there. I will actually tell you what it was inside. First of all, this serum from Yves Rocher, Perfecting Toning Lotion. It's for brightening the skin. As you can see, I used quite a bit of it. I'm surprised because I don't normally do skincare. I know it's bad. But... Inside there was also a nail polish and a lip balm, but I forgot to take them with me. I'll probably insert a photo or something. Next up, I got these three glittery pigments I don't know exactly what are they they're from wet and wild and I got them in spiked it looks like this wait then groupy vices I only used spiked but I wasn't really impressed with it because that's how it looks but you can't actually it doesn't actually stay on the lid it's very uh, I don't know how to say it like on my hand it looks okay but when I try to put it on the lid it will not stick and of course you can't actually use a brush because I tried it with it and it wouldn't stay there. Next up from Flormar, I got these two hand creams. I'm currently using this one with shea butter, coconut extract and vitamin E. And the next one is with cotton candy and vanilla, apparently. They actually smell quite nice. And this lip and cheek, look at its gorgeous color. Look, it's not that like apple red red it's that dark berry red which is very interesting for a cream blush or a lip balm whatever you want to use it for since we're still in the makeup category i want to mention this palette from ruby rose i literally today is, is sunday and i literally got this on thursday but the colors are just so beautiful that I could not not mention it. And if you open it, you actually 
also get an eye primer down here. Ruby Rose was one of those brands that was extremely cheap and you you would grow up buying them like oh that's a ruby rose lipstick or that's a ruby rose eyeshadow pigment or whatever and they were always so affordable so you would find them everywhere and now everyone's like oh that's so cheap that's ruby rose come on you can at least afford that but they actually have quite nice products because I've discovered through a friend that they actually opened a whole store, like a whole Ruby Rose store. So I was quite surprised by all the products that they had in there. I can't wait to go back and buy more stuff. <laughs> I actually have three of them on my eyes right now. I have this one, this one, and this one in the crease. This perfume that my dad got for me, but I actually chose it, so... It smells so sweet for what it's supposed to represent, like, you know, police, the sinner, the handcuff, and things. It's such a familiar scent, but I can't tell you what famous scent it is. I, I don't know. I don't know the name of it but it smells very familiar. Let me read you what it actually has inside. Notes of black currant and apple leading to the heart of orange blossom and jasmine and the base of vanilla, tonka bean and cedar. So yeah, it smells really nice. For accessories, I only have this pair of earrings. I didn't actually get to wear them, but I will at some point. This chain choker from H&M. I've always wanted a chain choker. Hey, thank you. And this random black bandana because I like to wear bandanas and I only have a white and red one, so yeah. And that one has an interesting pattern on it, so I can't really wear it that much without making it too obvious. So thanks for this one that has normal patterns on. Yeah. Moving on to the clothing section. First of all, I have to give a shout out to this gorgeous gray sweater. It's my dream one. I've always wanted a fluffy one like this so I can literally hide underneath its color. Well, not really underneath, inside. behind whatever inside. All those things I can hide everywhere with it. <laughs> This is from Stradivarius. Yeah. Next is this combo, I would say, with this white turtleneck that's actually a cropped one and this black dress. I like what it says on the neck because I actually hate when people touch my neck or even breathe too closely to it. <laughs> She knows, she knows. <laughs> From New Yorker and because we're here. I also bought from Stradivarius this Baker Boy, Baker Boy hat. That's what they're called, I've seen. And this leather, well, fall leather beret. And I especially wanted this one so I can match it with these. You know, like this. I especially liked this combo because it reminds me of like French Parisian vibes. I wore that combo on New Year's Eve. This sweater from my father. It's from Canvelo. It's a little it's small, but I will try to figure out a way to wear it because I don't want to seem ungrateful. From Zara, I bought this long hoodie that has like three quarter length sleeves. And I also got this on black, but I couldn't find it anywhere. So yeah, I liked this because I can actually wear this on spring and summer like 
only this one, like with only this, and a pair of sneakers, and that's all. But also in the winter, I wear this with a turtleneck underneath to keep me warm, and I'm good to go, of course, and jeans as well, obviously. This infinity scarf from my grandfather. I can't actually dress warmly right now because outside there are 15 to 16 degrees Celsius, so it's literally a full-on spring day outside. So yeah, I'm looking forward to a nice, real January day. Please? Snow, please? I don't think Snow watches YouTube, so... <laughs> My card ran out of memory just when I had only two things left to talk about, but it's okay. Moving on to the shoes section. I got this... Oh, wait. It's gorgeous pair of pink booties. If you follow me on Instagram, or if you know me personally, you know I've been looking for a pink pair of this kind of boots for like forever. I don't know. I've made it publicly like I've made it pub publicly. I I think last year, or, no, or two years ago actually, something like this. But I've always wanted pink ones, and I actually like the fact that they're this somewhat dusty pink, not that hot pink or that really pastel pink. They're the perfect shade of pink. And I love them. They're from Deichmann. The last thing that I want to talk about is a random food thing. This box, a jar, whatever you want to call this thing, of cookies. I was very intrigued to find out how do chocolate cookies fit into this. But let me show you how they actually look like. Look! They look like tiny flower-shaped cookies. Well, they actually are. They don't just look. Look. If they focus, it's not. I can't actually tell you what brand they are. They're just product of Denmark. But I love them. They're delicious. If you find this jar of cookies, buy them. No, buy. Buy it because it's a jar of cookies. Buy the jar with the cookies. You know what I mean. I know I filmed this video almost two weeks ago and I actually edited it a day after I filmed it, but I wanted to include these as well because these are the gifts I received from one of my bestest friends and it's the first time we're actually gifting each other Christmas gifts so I wanted to have this as a memory to look back at. All of these are bought from thrift shops because we love thrift shopping so much. This is the first jumper, look it has a turtleneck it looks like this. The second one is this one with his long sleeves. This absolutely gorgeous one. I'm so obsessed with this color. And then probably my most favorite item of all is this gorgeous cardigan. I'm so obsessed with its color. Look. And it's so soft. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This completely huge, large denim shirt that I absolutely adore. So thank you so much. You know who you are. I love you. And last but not least, also from her, I got this gorgeous pair of sleepers with bunnies and look at them! If you keep your feet close to each other, it looks like the bunnies are kissing! Isn't this adorable? Oh my god! 
and we've reached the end of this video thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you with what i promised in my last video hopefully the lipstick collection and the skincare collection will also be up on my channel in the near future she's whispering this month hopefully hopefully this month i i'm not sure of anything right now so well who who else can be sure of everything in their lives but yeah anyways thank you for watching this video and i will see you in my next one whenever that will be bye take care of yourselves Wait, what? When it comes to you, and there.